everyone, happy hollow days. It's almost Christmas and that means I do ugly sweater nails because they're so awesome. Except these nails didn't really turn out all that ugly as I'd planned in my head, but hey, hollow glitter can't help it, it's so beautiful. So before I get to the not ugly, ugly Christmas sweater nails, I'm gonna show you a nail fail I had first. So originally I thought it would be cool to use a textured polish so it looked like a fuzzy sweater, but then everything went wrong. <laughs> First of all, I was using a peel-off base coat, but I always live dangerously with that risk. But I also wasn't able to put a quick dry polish over the green fuzzy polish because if I did that, then it would take away the fuzzy sweater effect, which was the whole point of what I was going for. So I failed and I took it all off and I scrapped the idea of a fuzzy sweater nail art. I rethought what I was gonna do and started over with a non-peel-off base coat because you can't live dangerously all the time. I'm using a milky white polish for once, I know. how disgusting is it? Because I wanted an off-white kind of ivory. This one's called white chocolate, I think, and it's supposed to smell like white chocolate, which is even weirder. I applied two thick coats to make it completely opaque, and yeah, I guess it kind of does resemble the color of white chocolate. Mm, now I'm craving white chocolate. Where's the Lindors? And I did the accent nail with a red hollow as the base because I often like to see things in the opposite color scheme. This polish is actually called Rose Bower. I put the link below, and I think people think it's pink, but but I'm pretty sure it's red. Uh-oh, is this another case of what color is this dress? What color is this polish? What do you see? Is it red or is it pink? Or is it red or is it pink? Or is it red? probably red. Yeah, it's definitely red. It's the great Christmas debate. Add a quick dry top coat to all your nails, red and white, because then we're gonna add nail vinyls because I can't freehand draw shit. Look at these nail vinyls. Aren't these like the best nail vinyls to ever exist? They're called ugly Christmas sweater nail vinyls and they're from Twinkle Tea, of course. And you should tell your parents that you can get 10% off with my code simply and then say, hey, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. So because these vinyls are very intricate with tiny, tiny designs, they are going to be a little more challenging to unpeel as you see that I'm having issues right here. But you'll get it eventually, and if you have a few pieces that are stuck, just poke them out with a toothpick. These vinyls are actually pretty long, so you could cut them in half if you have short nails, but because my nails are long, I need like three quarters of the vinyl to complete the look. Cut around the sides of the vinyls, and in fact, it's probably best to cut it in half around that line area because then you will have more freedom to peel up the vinyl, so I can peel it up in two goes. Cut off all the excess crap if you want. It does make it easier to peel off and then smooth down the vinyl to make sure that you've got no bumps or air pockets or whatever. Ah, purple hollow. That's not Christmassy at all, but it's still pretty. Look at that rainbow shine. This is one of Color Club's essential. You need, you must, you have to have one of these hollows. These make the best stocking stuffers. If your parents don't put hollow in your stocking, then they're not your parents. I'm gonna use a whole bunch of different colored hollows that are kind of a Christmassy color, I don't know, to fill in the little spaces in the vinyl. I put the links below to all the polishes down in the video description box. So start filling in your nail vinyl designs with different color hollows, whatever colors you want. But make sure to just fill in one half of the side of the vinyl so you can peel it up first. All right, let's see how this goes. Shouldn't rip up the base because I used a regular base coat for once. Excellent, that worked out just fine. Now remember, you gotta work quickly because that line down the middle is starting to dry and things get ugly and messy when they start to dry. You have to peel off the vinyls while all the polish is still wet. So you really can't afford to be using your slow brain today. Yeah, save that one for school because you gotta use your quick brain to get this done in time. Let's try this. Nobody breathe. Stop breathing. Stop it. Oh, where, where'd my gingerbread man go? They ran all the way home back into the oven. Clearly that brown hollow dries a lot faster than the other polishes I used. Weird. So I just take a tiny dotting tool I got from Twinkle Tea and dip it in the brown and then remake the gingerbread man myself. Let's do it again, but with opposite colors, except you don't really need me to describe this because if you heard it the first time, then you don't need to hear it again. I'll just tell a story instead. So my name is Christine, and if you didn't know that, my name is Christine, and you may or may not have noticed that it's not spelled the usual way with an H. So one day a few years ago, I was in grad class, and my professor looks at the class list on the first day of class and says to me, Oh, Christine, I think they spelled your name wrong on the class list. That's actually how he talks. And I replied to him something to the effect of, Well, no, sir, I don't think so, unless you mean to suggest that my name should be pronounced Christine. Because if you separate the traditional spelling of the word Christine 
Christine into two, it says Christine, just like Christopher, should be said Christopher, just like Christmas should be Christmas, because aren't these things all supposed to be related to Christ? At least that's what Wikipedia tells me. I am also not the daughter of Christ. I am the daughter of the devil. The hollow glitter devil, that is. And therefore, I conclude that in all of history, anyone who said the name Christine, Christopher, and Christmas has been pronouncing it incorrectly for hundreds of centuries. And if they really didn't want it to be pronounced Christmas, and they wanted it to be pronounced Christmas, then why is there a f H in the word Christmas. In conclusion, the next time you write Merry Christmas on a holiday greeting card, be sure to spell it like this. And when people tell you you spelled it wrong, just say no, you spelled it wrong, bitch. Simply Nailogical told me so. Okay, story time is over. Hmm, these ugly Christmas sweater nails are missing something. What could it be? What could it be? Hollow oh, no, glitter from Twinkle T. Hey, hey. So I just take a clear polish and paint stripes wherever I plan on putting the hollow glitters down. Don't use a top coat, because that'll dry too fast. And just take a toothpick and stick it on your tongue to make it a little wet and pick up the glitters one by one. And there you go, you got a gold glitter stripe. I'm gonna add another stripe of hollow glitter to cover up more of this boring white chocolate cream color. Blech. Let's use some bright green hollow. Yeah, I guess this is the only color I was kind of missing in my nail polish hollow collection, wasn't it? Now I can't really do a stripe here because that is a zigzag. So I'm just gonna fill in three little red dots so it kind of looks like holly berries. I mean, hollow berries. <laughs> Let's put a little star at the top of the tree. Wait, stars are not red. That makes no sense. Okay, let's scratch that and put a gold star on the top of the tree. Did I just say trop of the tree? <laughs> Too much eggnog in my system. And now we're gonna decorate the red nail. Since you don't need to hear how again, I'll just tell another story. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's enough, Christine. Stop talking. Add a nice glossy top coat to seal all those hollow glitters in and make them shine. If your parents don't give you hollow glitter for Christmas, then I sure hope Santa does. Cause if he doesn't, then he's a dick. Ooh, ugly Christmas sweater. It's not ugly. It's so pretty actually. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, everyone. In effort to not offend anyone, I'm just going to say happy hollow days instead of citing a particular religious traditional holiday. And you can't be offended by that because if you watch this channel, then you must be a hollow sexual and we all practice hollowism this time of year and every other time of year. See y'all later. Bye.